Hey, this is Sherman Nelson, USA Taekwondo Minister of Information, and I am here with the very tired and sleepy, yet still <laughs> personable, Anna Zalotich, who just today qualified women's minus 57 kilograms for the 2020 Tokyo <laughs> Olympic Games. Yay, yay. Uh, so, Anna, congratulations. Um, I, it seems kind of weird to say it now because I said it earlier when you were still in your doba. Um yeah. But let's let's go back to the through the day. Let's mm -hmm. let's back the day up. Your first match was against El Salvador. Mm -hmm. First match of the day. We already know it can be yeah. tricky, um, and there's a lot of pressure. Talk us through that match. I think I was just like going into there. I was really nervous today, just because I mean. Everybody's qualified for the Olympics in the top six, and I'm here at the qualify, and I have to qualify. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't want anybody to take away my gold medal at the Olympics or, you know what I mean, right. the chance to be there at all, you know what I mean, fighting for that. So I think, like, my first fight, I was just getting my, like, my nerves out and stuff. So I just, it wasn't my best performance, but it was definitely, like, something that pushed me and, like, made me want to, like, move forward. So, like, okay. realizing I was so nervous and stuff, I'm like, why am I doing this to myself? Yeah. I should push myself more and then move on to my next match, so. And, and we could see it in watching you and knowing you. We kind of yeah. know how you start a game. Mm -hmm. um, but we also we also recognize that there's a lot of pressure. Yeah. And people try to minimize it. Now it's just another tournament. Mm -hmm. You can only say that if you haven't been there. <laughs> yeah. But if you've been here with the weight of a country, mm -hmm. And the weight of the history, we've never just sent one athlete to the Olympics. So we don't want to, you know, only have one female athlete. All right, so you, you got through the game, and we were happy, and then you settled in. Um, and then your next match was against the hometown favorite, yeah. Costa Rica, mm -hmm. which is never easy um, because... Now, fortunately, they didn't have a lot of spectators. Oh, like, I was I was walking out, and I'm like, it's gonna be like a big crowd, Costa Rica, and all I could hear is my teammates. Like, yes, US, yes. I'm like, what the heck? Yes. Going on? Because you have some very loud teammates. Yeah, I do. Led in part by <laughs> CJ, he is yeah. the human bullhorn. Um, but they were excited, and so so talk us through this match with Costa Rica. Yeah. You're fighting the hometown favorite. This is a semifinal match. Mm -hmm. This is the match that we have to win yeah. if we want to get to Tokyo. I think, like, at the beginning, she scored, like, two points on me, like, right in the beginning. And yes. I was, I was like, at first I was freaking out. I'm like, I need to go chase her. And it was still, like, a minute and 50 seconds left. And I'm like, stop. Like, calm down, breathe. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? If I go crazy now, and I could, like, lose another two points, three points. Right. So I just, like, kept my cool. And then I, I fought through it. And I ended up, like, leading it by the end of the round. And... I don't know, like when my teammates were shouting, it just gave me energy and then yeah. it like, made me so much more excited and like my nerves were just gone at that fight and I was just enjoying it. Yeah. I was being myself, I was enjoying it. That's the that's that's yeah. so refreshing to hear mm -hmm. that in the middle of it, you enjoyed the moment. Yeah, because I was typically we're I'm like, look where I am, look right. who I'm with, like right. I got my teammates, I have you, I have my coach, I have like USAT, the staff supporting me, like this is like a dream. Like, yeah, and it, and that's and that's a, I think that's something that we want to make sure that people understand that don't be concerned with the the occasion that you forget the moment yeah, exactly. and you don't enjoy it yeah. because enjoying it is what makes the occasion yeah. the occasion. Um, so you you and that's a good. I'm glad that you see that start because that's how we saw the start. Yeah. Calling it, we we're like, oh, she got off. The, she's she's up two already. And I think I said on the on the commentary. Yeah, Anastasia doesn't really like you yeah. to score on her first. <laughs> so no, that, no, no. But then you caught that. yourself, and I was yeah. like, oh, I see. We're not going to burn ourselves out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, let's talk about you, your relationship with Coach Brown. He is Mr. Intensity. Yeah, he is. Um, <laughs> And I, I do a terrible British accent. If I had a good one, I could imitate him because I have the intensity to have the accent. But but what was the, what were the, some of the things he was saying to yeah. you that that helps keep you dialed in? Yeah, I think even when I'm like losing my focus or I'm paying attention to what the clock is saying, like as the time's ticking down, like 20, 21, like 19, 18, you know what I mean? And it's ready to go back again. He like you got to focus, you know what I mean? And he just goes through my tactics one more time, or he. He like gets in my face and like really like makes me focus and like want it. He like, I think like my and him really like mine and his relationship like he just pushes me. Mm -hmm. If he's like not in my face and yelling at me, that I don't feel like mm -hmm. I can relax and like calm. I don't like that. I like being like mad and angry and like going for it. 
Okay. I think having him like push me to be like that, I think it's just perfect for me. And I, I watch his coaching posture. Mm -hmm. He coaches all of you guys differently. Yeah, he does. Um, he yeah. gives everybody what they need. Mm -hmm. But with exactly. you, he's like, you understand me, yeah? Yeah. You hear me, yeah? You get me, mate? <laughs> Second phase, middle distance, do it. You understand, yeah. right? And he's right there. And, and, and I look at you, we can see in your eyes, and you're like, I'm yeah. into it, yeah. I'm yeah. Into it. I'm and like, that's, okay, I got it. Like, I got that's it. the sign of an excellent coach that understands yeah. What his players need, mm -hmm. and that's that's the the bond that you guys have, yeah. and that's what's going to make you successful. Mm -hmm. I want you to to, yeah. to maintain that bond. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about big picture. I mean, you qualified women's 57 mm -hmm. for the Olympic Games. What is that? I mean, has it sunk in yet? I mean, I think it's still <laughs> like everyone's like coming up to me they're like, you guess why you're going to the Olympics? I'm like, sometimes like I walked off the mat and I'm like, I should have been like really happy, right? And like I was when all you guys came up to me, but I'm like, wait, what? What is going on? Like, I had no idea. And I'm in the pool, and like people are congratulating me. I'm like, what? It's like unbelievable. I think yeah. tomorrow I'll be like in a world of shock. I'll be like looking around, I'll be like, whoa. <laughs> nah, but that's 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 cool because we talked about in an early interview that you have to try to carry yourself mm -hmm. older than 17 sometimes. Yes, yeah. And I think that's necessary in in some instances, mm -hmm. but regrettable. Because sometimes a 17-year-old can be like, yo, this is dope. But you would care ourselves like, well, it was my job to go out there and win. And to me, it's important to be humble. Right. You know I mean, I don't want to go out there like, hey, guys, I just bought five. You know what I mean? I think it's, it's like to myself and to like my family, that's what I can be like, hey, guys, like we're going to Olympic. You know what I mean? Right. But to others, like respectful, you know what I mean? Right, and, there, and there's there's a balance, and yeah, that is, exactly. I think that's life, there's that we like have to find, where you can like, right, yeah. because we, 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 we know athletes mm -hmm. who have had success, yeah. and then they become very different, Yes, yes. and then life has to give yeah. you some non-successes, mm -hmm. so that you come back down yeah, to this exactly. level, yeah, that's cool. Um, so I noticed you have uh, a little coloration. Oh, yeah, guys. Would you, would you, would you like to elaborate uh, uh, on the ocular coloration? Well, my basic coach, <laughs> Gareth Brown, told me to do a spin, <laughs> so I spun, and I was getting yeah. like, a little comfortable because it scored, and I'm like looking around, what's going on? Yeah. Back like right to the face. Yeah, and we saw it, and it, I think on the video, we were like, ooh. <laughs> I think everybody was like, yeah, because I scored the spin, and like, I hit like, ooh. Just yeah, like, oh, and I'm like, what is going on? And I think, I think again, that's one of those life lessons that we can yeah. do the right thing, but we always got to be vigilant exactly, yeah. and be alert to where <laughs> yeah. we are. Um, so we are excited um, for you. We have some more, you know, there's some more mm -hmm. procedural steps that we have to go through. Um, what do you want to say to the person? There's a young person somewhere that's watching this. She's probably eight or nine. Mm -hmm. She's excited and she looks at you. She's mm -hmm. like, I want to be like Anna when I grow up. Mm -hmm. And I want to be like her. And I want to get black eyed too, mom. And I want to, I want to do all these things. What would you say to somebody that's watching? I think like for me personally, the way I grew up, I didn't want to be like anybody. I wanted to be my own person. Mm -hmm. So like, I, I hope I inspire young athletes and I hope I like bring them to like wanting to be here and wanting to be where I am and, hopefully not even have to go this qualifier and be qualified for the Olympics. Right. But like, I think I just, you be yourself and you push yourself how you need to and what makes you get here. Right. Like we all have different paths and those paths usually lead to like where we want it to go. Mm -hmm. So I think just like, I, I hope I inspire people and I hope I like push them to be like where I am now. But I just want them to like do their own thing. And I think just believing in yourself is key. Like yeah. if I didn't believe in myself in that first fight or like, even during the end, I would have like that. You would, it would have melted yeah, away, melted. right? Yeah, right. Exactly. Now I, um, we appreciate that. It is you do inspire. Mm -hmm. You remind me um, how much I love this sport mm -hmm. because I see how much you love it. Yeah. And then I see how much you enjoy like fighting. Yeah. Like I hated training, but I loved fighting. Yeah, but you lose it. Intense. You lose it fighting if you don't go to training. Yeah, exactly. So I only went to training so that I could be have fun at the fighting. Um, and you remind me that that is why I, I have to tell your story mm -hmm. because there's somebody out there who is on the fence and they don't know if they, man, I'm not having the success I want, and 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 I don't know if I really love this. And then they get to watch because yeah. it comes out in your interviews. Mm -hmm. You have so much personality. Yeah. Um, we just need to work on your fashion identification. Uh, I don't know 
Oh, Sherman, that pink and red. And that uh, pink and red was killer. Oh, oh my. Mouse can pull that off. Oh, so we make it, we're making disrespectful statements in the interview with the Minister of Information. That's what we're doing. See, but she can do that because she has qualified for the Olympic Games, and uh, I am going to I'm going to make sure that. If you go to Tokyo, mm -hmm. I'm going to come with an entire <laughs> pink suit on with it's a giant a sign <laughs> saying, I'm Anna's fashion coordinator and I want the whole world to know. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, I'm, I'm gonna call Ralph Lauren. And so when they outfit the Olympic team, I'm gonna make sure there's something special in there for you. Yeah. Um, so do you want to let's 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 thank your family. Yeah, let's, I was just about asking. Yeah, no, like, no, please do, please, please, like please, 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 and like message me on Instagram and like on social media, and I feel like all your guys' support, and I thank you so much. Like the other day, I'm like between fights, I'm looking at what you guys are texting me. I appreciate it so much for everybody, and I'm glad that I have people like supporting me. Yes, I, I couldn't do it without you guys. If I saw like people were just like hating it. Words come a long way. Like yeah. if I see you're supporting me, I like want to do it just for you guys and help you inspire people. And my family too. They flew all the way from Listen. Florida, Colorado, took time out of their and like, your, work your, and your family is awesome. Yeah. Um, your mom is, is a sweetheart. <laughs> um, your dad is, is the workhorse. He's got everything you need. And your yeah, sister's yeah. a little sister. Yeah, and a little sister is a little sister, but but they all we feel the love that they have for you, yeah. and it just makes us love them because we draw them in, and it takes all of us. Yeah, it does. It does. We're it's grateful. Great, yeah. We're grateful to the Zolotich family for trusting <laughs> your daughter with us, um, and we promise we'll take good care of her, yeah. and we will not. We'll send her back in better shape. <laughs> we will not break her. We promise that. Um, so listen, Anastasia, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is so much fun interviewing you. Yeah. Uh, you could, you know, you could replace Coach Poos. You know I that. I mean, I could replace both of you if I wanted. All right. And that ends the interview. <laughs> this is Sherman Nelson being thoroughly disrespected <laughs> once again by the winning black eye wearing Anastasia Zolotic. We have <laughs> an Olympic track. I let her get away with that today. Only today. Peace.